Should you Thank be forcing you. kids to be in those schools if you're banning people from defending them, essentially? This Ridley O sponsored by MuzzleBreak.com. <laughs> Are you on the board of aldermen? Yes. Question for you. I haven't got time. It starts at 5.30 and i got to get upstairs. I keep hearing that the city doesn't have enough money, but I heard you had enough money to raise the welfare commissioner's salary by $40,000. Is oh, that true? Me. Not me. But did it happen? Are you with the school district? I am. Question, what position? I'm assistant superintendent. Oh, okay. Are you Mr. Ryan? I am. Dr. Ryan? No, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that'd be like Tom Clancy. But um, question for you. Uh, to, to what extent are gun rights respected on your campuses? Are, are gun what? To what extent are gun rights respected on your campuses? Are people allowed to be armed on the, on the school grounds? No, actually state law prohibits firearms on our campus. And I have to leave, I have a personal commitment too. But that's a federal law actually, not just a state law. Should you Thank be you. forcing kids to be in those schools if you're banning people from defending them essentially? This Ridley O sponsored by MuzzleBreak.com. Is your AK-47 passing the accuracy test? Would you like your AR-15 to be more useful in hand-to-hand -hand combat? And are you spending too much of this on long gun solvents? MuzzleBreak.com may be for you. It aims to solve all three problems at once on several long gun types. By cutting recoil and potentially collecting those costly solvents for reuse, it can help land your rounds on the mark and be more environmentally friendly. The brake doubles as a blunt force striking tool. Ouch! Be careful, the combination you create doesn't accidentally violate the law. <laughs> 